Hello and welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Jim Reed. In this episode, we're going to discuss the balance of the airplane. In order for an aircraft to fly, it must be balanced within a certain range called a CG range. CG stands for center of gravity, and it is the point at which the aircraft would balance fore and aft. The forces at work on the aircraft with regard to balance are the lift produced from the wing and the weight of the aircraft, which is centered at the CG point. There's a misalignment between these two forces. The lift being produced by the wing is a bit further aft than the weight of the aircraft in the CG point. The misalignment of these two forces would cause the aircraft to pitch nose down. In order to counteract that and make the aircraft flyable, the horizontal tail must produce a downforce. If you shift weight around in the aircraft, you can shift the CG point as well. If you move the weight more towards the tail, as most of the race teams do, you will have what we call a more aft CG. Why would you want to do that, you ask? As we discussed earlier, the horizontal tail of the aircraft must make a downforce. This downforce is added to the weight of the plane, so it makes sense that if you shift the CG further aft, you won't have to make as much downforce with the tail to keep the aircraft in proper balance. Less downforce means less drag, and less drag means a faster airplane. So what's the downside of an FCG? The aircraft flight characteristics will change quite drastically. It becomes far harder to control. Some pilots describe it as twitchy the more aft you push the CG. So if you push a CG too far aft, it's likely you will give away any advantage you may have found in reduction in drag by not being able to fly as precise a race line, and you're back where you started. So as with most things related to racing in the Red Bull Air Race World Championship, there is a balance that first must be identified and then maintained to be successful. 